and we're back here we go beautiful we are ready for your more detailed more specific end of the year messages using the cards and also psychic channeling all right you can find the crystal bracelets that i'm wearing over on my amazon shop my handmade crystal bracelets oracle decks and fallback manifesting journal everything is on sale until the end of the year thank you so much for supporting small business okay so feel free to pause the video here to take a second to decide which pile you're going to choose and i'm going to add some charms to this as well some of you right at the start of this you may already be drawn to a particular pile trust that first instinct okay all three may end up resonating you resonating for you there may be specific messages in all three just listen kick back and let's see what you hear, you will know the truth when you hear it, all right? You will feel it in your spirit. It will resonate. <laughs> On this first pile, we're going to add this frog charm, the frog playing a banjo, it looks like. And on the second charm, we're going to add this beautiful, beautiful evil eye elephant. And on this third pile, we're adding this bear, big bear, like arrowhead magnet here. It is one, two, three. The chapter's timestamp is going to be on this video. Thank you so much for being here. Pile one. I'm ready to lay out your cards. This is the frog charm. I'm going to put that up there. End of the year messages. Okay, so new vitality, your overall energy oracle uh, tarot card here for overall for the end of the year. That is beautiful. That's a new beginning. That's the Ace of Wands. All right. Infinite abundance. Abundance is pouring into your life. Wow. Some of you, this is abundance with things that you love to do. New vitality pumping into your creativity, your work and career sector, or your relationships. Maybe both. We'll see how it unfolds with the rest of your cards. But something is bringing you abundance here. Okay, so let's see. A time to give rather than take. New moon in Virgo energy. You may have Virgo on your chart. I love this energy of greens showing up here. A time to give rather than take. Giving to yourself, perhaps. I kind of get this feeling you don't have to work too hard. Pile number one. I don't know why I get this feeling. Like it's just pouring in. It's pouring in. It's safe for you to have joyous fun, maybe. Wow, this is gorgeous. It's safe for you to have fun transformation your relationship with one another is about to deepen love conquers and transforms all things okay your animal spirit is the bee energy wow speaking of you don't have to work so hard the bee energy is a busy 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 bee a hard worker this is telling you you definitely need to have some bit of an adventure a bit of a break that could be what this is referring to. It's time to give to yourself. Maybe it's time to take a break. It's definitely time to do something differently here. If you've been going, 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 working, 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 taking, 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 cashing in, it's time to, to switch that up and maybe have more fun. Okay, so this is your overall energy in the tarot deck for your relationships and your love life. You get the Empress. Wow, that is beautiful. Talk about your relationship with one another is about to deepen. New vitality, Empress, abundance, synchronicity. This pile is gorgeous. Tarot card for your work, career, and finances. You get Eight of Pentacles. Oh, you're a hard worker, all right. You've been busy. Eager to learn, honing your craft, classes, workshops, working a lot. Your hard work paying off is what I see here as well. You've been working hard towards a goal and you're definitely going to get there. But it seems like for the end of the year, you need to take a step back and have more fun. Uh, activate fallback mode like you've done enough. You just sort of need to allow things to pour in. You are the empress. Everything's just going to come right to you. You are already filled with infinite abundance. Okay, let's get your fall in love cards. Enjoy quality time. probably with another person reunited some of you may be in relationships i feel like this pile is for people in relationships dating someone connecting with someone you're definitely not alone this holiday season you're supposed to make more time for someone here for family for kids reunited with someone or with family that you haven't seen in a while 
this is great maybe you need to make plans this could be a guidance for you with the bee energy here and empress take time and make plans to connect with people you haven't seen in a while to have a bit of a reunion here maybe with that girlfriend group maybe with family with your lover having more time for fun with each other your cancerian oracle cards you got two step out of your comfort zone and have more fun wow the fun synchronicity I'm going to put that right there. And I want you to think of something now. Think of a question because I'm going to pull a timing card. Well, we've already pulled it for you and we're going to flip it over. Your fallback mess messages for the end of the year. Time for adventure. Oh my God, the synchronicities. Time for adventure. Turn waiting into living. Be spontaneous. Try new things. If not now, when? Unleash your passion. Connect with others. Exactly. <laughs> connect. Oh, no. Why did I say connect with other others? No. <laughs> connect with your sexual energy. Okay. Sleep naked. Touch. Moan and fantasize. Enjoy pleasure. Maybe you do need to connect with others because that just kind of rolled out of my mouth. Wow. Okay. Your last fallback card is rest and recharge. Take it easy. Even in stillness, there is movement. So... Your end of the year, we need more time for rest. We need a vacation, an adventure, time for play, time for others here. You are abundance. You may even get pregnant during this time with the empress there in your relationships. You may be connecting or spending time with someone who is pregnant, okay? So your shadow work card is unworthy. Think deeply. Ask yourself why you are not worthy or why you feel like you're not worthy of the situation at hand perhaps you've been working 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 and busting your ass to prove your worth to yourself or to others you may be attaching your worth to material things or to how hard you work or how much you're able to achieve this is telling you to pick, take a look at that uh, shadow element of yourself and perhaps inviting you to shift that because you are worthy just because you exist not because of your relationships and not because of how much you're able to do or how much you're able to achieve. You are the empress, honey. Okay. Timing card. Something you're thinking about when, when it's going to come through or when you need to do something. Let's see. Okay. If you haven't thought about what you're asking about, take a second now. And this is going to be a confirmation for you. Ready? Boo yaka boo yaka sometime before February. Sometime before February. So that's happening quite fast. Yeah, let's get some charms. End of the year. What's gonna be going down for these people? Okay, we see love. So your love life intimacy definitely in line with this deepen. You get the knitting charm, which is so perfect for you. Talk about taking time off, resting, recharge. When was the last time you had time to read a book or to knit or to just be a couch potato? Okay, you get this energy of leaf, which means change. Changes in transition is the leaf. Also, perhaps spending time in nature. You get the tree of life energy as well. Ancestors, your roots, connecting back to your roots, connecting with nature. This is great. So your reading is quite in sync. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you. I love you. Hello, pile number two. The elephant pile. Hey, are you ready to do your reading? Your evil eye for protection. So let's flip it over. I'm excited to see what your cards are going to be. We're going to look at your shadow work and timing at the end. Overall energy in the tarot for your end of the year is the two of cups. Ooh. First oracle card, overcoming obstacles. You can overcome anything. Exactly. Elephant energy, actually. Yeah, you can overcome anything. Okay new supportive connections all right this two of cups may be a new person new partnership work romance for sure romance is what the cups signify but we'll take a look at what else comes through be bold and make the first move Ooh, very elephant energy an elephant can't hide right it's too big it's too majestic it's too bold in your love card here you get secret admirer someone has deeper feelings for you oh cancer do you have deeper feelings for someone else perhaps you need to make a move here on someone or to make a move with someone or on someone okay <laughs> your animal spirit is the nightingale this card always reminds me of ah, ah. it's definitely an air element communication card singing speaking your truth you may be a singer you may have to do an open mic night a poetry night 
something doing something that's bold and out there this end of the year before the year's over if you've already been thinking about this this is your synchronicity thinking about sending a text telling someone how you feel signing up for an open mic night sharing your gift in some way or sharing your voice in some way that is big confirmation overall energy in the tarot for your love life is the eight of wands big confirmation about communication we see lots of swords here lots of air we see a sword here cups okay but these two cards it's all about messages communication back and forth back and forth possible travel things happening happening quite quickly um this end of the year for your career and finances overall energy in the tarot is the four of pentacles complacency penny pinching holding on maybe afraid of change or you may be trying to save i get a feeling though the way your energy is showing up you guys i think you've been telling yourself oh i'm not ready or no you're kind of letting fear get in your way you have to stop overthinking something and just go for it and just start invest in something or do something here okay there's an opportunity here to really go for something i don't know what this is it may be love with the secret admirer for sure let's get your love cards honest conversations you need to communicate with someone clearly <laughs> very soon yeah you need to do this very soon or you may even receive communication from someone very soon an opportunity to have a really good honest conversation perhaps with someone new also a new supportive connection comes into your life you end up talking 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 to this person you get their number make sure to text them make sure to make the first move invite them out don't be afraid to do so your cancerian oracle card new home Ooh go for it yeah you already know what you want you get moving redecorate safe place wow i'm so curious to see how this is synchronistic for you guys and your fallback cards here be vulnerable oh my goodness goodness vulnerability is strength lay your cards out on the table reveal the true you very nightingale energy keep your mind and heart open there's no need to protect yourself meditate take time to just be get lost in the moment a chill you is patient creative and happy you may need more meditation this end of the year ask and receive wow you gotta use your voice you gotta just send that email send that message there's no harm in asking right because you get what you have the courage to ask for ask for help and support the nightingale is all about being fearless guys Maybe about dancing around in your house, using music to heal in some way, using music to come together. You may even go to a concert with someone or invite them to a concert. That's a great idea. But something about music is going to be really healing and beneficial to you this end of the year season. But what this is saying is you need to speak freely with kindness. You Is there something you've been wanting to say? You've got to do it. You've got to let it out, whether you write it down, sing it out, shout it out communicate like this is really really cool guys so let's see what your shadow work card is and i want you to think of something that you want to ask about regarding timing because we're going to flip over the timing card and get some timing for you so if you think of something specific you're wondering to know when it's going to come through or when you should do something this will confirm that for you okay your shadow work is inconsistent Ooh, for a pentacles vibe think about if your thoughts actions and routines are inconsistent does it serve you well on a daily basis yeah there's some complacency in your energy it's time for you to get a bit more intentional and more consistent with your thoughts your actions and your words and your routine let's see what the timing card has to say one two three <gasps> within the next three weeks oh very soon that makes sense within the next three weeks just gonna grab a few here unstoppable oh my gosh that's elephant energy unstoppable you get a frog on a um, lily pad here it's all about healing okay letting go releasing this is palm tree some of you guys may be going somewhere on vacation this is all about romance you get the rose some of you may need to buy flowers give flowers give a gift or you may be receiving a gift as well from someone this end of the year you are unstoppable beautiful i love the synchronicity with the elephant thank you for being here thanks for watching follow me on my second channel and my personal tiktok the handle for both is at afro greek couple 
i'll link it at the end of the video as well and always in the description box a beautiful bear you may be going to big bear like arrowhead or somewhere in the woods where there's bears snow shout out to those who live in california i got this from lake arrowhead last christmas <laughs> so let's see what you need to know overall energy in the tarot is the 16 rebuild tower this is a major arcana card for your end of the year so some major change is going on right now okay we're gonna get more details about that time to breathe out okay something's forcing you to take a breath maybe forcing you to slow down crossing bridges it's time for healing connecting mending and releasing wow travel is also here this feels to me like it's not about sleeping right because the bear also speaks about coming out of hibernation waking up and movement you know getting going again getting going getting going so something may happen here where it really shatters your reality or shatters your perspective of something and you're being told to cross a bridge move travel it's going to help you to take a breath it's going to help you to heal to release to connect something here wow this is beautiful we see the number seven the number five 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 all about change and travel all right your love card a new beginning a new adventure awaits you yeah i love to see it embrace it and live your dream passionately your animal spirit is the frog wow you may also resonate with the frog reading that we did the first pile check that out to see that may be your near future prediction if this is how you're feeling now the frog may be what comes next okay so this is a water element crazy because the frog is all about healing releasing crossing a bridge new chapter tower in a way as well like after the tower what you do what you must do perhaps to take a time out to recover hmm and being lighthearted and moving right the frog being able to ribbit hop over you know i'm being very light so maybe a good time for you to declutter lighten your load simplify your life for sure this tower is forcing you to do to do that this could be a breakup or something like that and you go on a retreat or you go on a trip to the mountains to nature something that's helpful wow i hope that that makes sense for someone so overall energy in your relationships is the six of swords oh my god talk about movement the six of swords is on a boat leaving the five of swords leaving the five 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 the triumph the conflict the the craziness moving on and moving forward it's all about healing so this may be a tower in your relationships definitely in your relationship to yourself which means your relationship to others right because everything is a mirror let's see your career you ended up getting to oh shit you got to so oh, six 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 ah manifesting number six six is actually a powerful and very positive number so you can take a look at you can google numerology of the number six to, to read more about it it's also the lovers major kind of tarot called all about your choices your connections some of you are, this is like a breakup energy that you're it already happened i get the sense because you're pulling six of swords twice so maybe you're leaving for a job leaving a relationship leaving an area going on a trip you're gonna have money to do something you're gonna have a helpful supportive person or helping hand maybe some money gets approved for you to travel or have a new home this could be a bonus that you get from your job something about your stress is going to be reducing this tower is so so good for you it reduces your stress you move on to better horizons because of it your love cards fresh start yeah self-love oh my gosh i can't wait to see who's resonating with this reading this is really beautiful this is all about you. This next chapter, this end of the year is all about you. The Fresh Start is also my healing card. It's also my travel and adventure card. Releasing. Healing through movement. Okay, you don't always have to be sitting there going to therapy and crying all the time to heal. You can heal by way of going to nature, hiking, travel, move, move, shift, release nature reduces so much stress naturally right getting next to moving bodies of water literally releases atoms that reduce our stress levels 
you got one more fall in love card not for you oh whatever this is that's not right for you whether it's this place person thing job it's going it's going with the tower it's you can't you can't it's time it's time you can see an oracle card like yeah it's time to let go let go let this tower happen not every puzzle is yours to solve let go let god oh my god <gasps> the sacred necessities you get the tower moment card here expect change blessing in disguise i'm speechless okay your fallback cards let's just flip them all over <laughs> Oh, you get connect with others. I actually said connect with others, I think, by accident in the frog reading. Host a movie night or have a slumber party. Surround yourself with loving energy. Yeah. Return to self. Come home to you. Give to yourself. Be your own first priority. It's giving this kind of energy here. Sweat it out. Get out of your head and into your body. Practice yoga. Exercise frees the mind. Your shadow card is forgive self accept what has happened and give yourself grace to make mistakes yeah mistakes are necessary for your success so stop being so hard on yourself we are all meant to make mistakes no one is ever going to get it perfect and do all the things they think they should have done try to just let go of that maybe let go of self-criticism let go of something here and cut yourself some slack everything is happening exactly the way it's meant to Let's see your charms. End of the year. Oh, you get unstoppable as well. Unstoppable, you get the letter A. I'm not sure why you're pulling that. You get here, girl, holding a heart. This is giving me like healing heart. This looks like um almost like Peter Pan here. That could be a synchronicity for someone. But she's holding a heart. And maybe a gar guardian angel helping you to heal your heart. Because we see this with mirror mirror on the wall so this is all about self-love taking time for you returning to self these two charms and you are unstoppable let's get two more here yeah Ooh, talk about unstoppable that's also horse energy the strength to take action the strength to do things the leaf is all about change and nature as well some of you may go horseback riding during this end of the year that could be really great and healing for you i see you selling some things as well selling antiques maybe diying a few things in your home as well so think of something here we're gonna flip over the timing card if you haven't thought of something yet you can pause the video two months wow a lot of you guys are getting really fast timing cards here two months beautiful guys i love you thank you so much for being here check out my decks my crystal bracelets my fallback manifesting journal all of my handmade decks here everything's on sale in amazon link down below happy december happy end of the year i'm wishing you a very very happy holidays i love you to the moon and back i'll see you on instagram and tiktok at afro greek couple in the meantime bye